Blackfoot wisdom and inspire Maslow hierarchy. Well, this part is part interesting. So, uh, Blackfoot is just basically the name of the tribe. Um, that uh, Abraham Maslow, uh, the psych psychologist with his hierarchy of need, which is um, classical, but not really practical. And they have to inspire, and they believe that they have inspired from a 60 car way of life during his six week stay in the Blackfoot Reserve in 1938. So they can see that a little bit of social hierarchy and dominance. When they see when it's here, observe the high level of cooperation, minimal inequality, restorative justice, and overall life satisfactions in the community. And then after that, they have some uh, blog writing about two Blackfoot scholars and researcher. Yeah, it's not really like tribe scholar, Ryan Heavyhead and Northside Blood. So this is a story of uh, Maslow, when he was, was 30 years old, come to Sixika along with two friends. And he tend to testing the idea of this theory that has some social hierarchies and men maintained by the dominance of some group of people over others. However, he did not see the dominance in Blackfoot society. Instead, he saw the level of cooperation, minimal inequality, restorative justice, full bellies and high level of life satisfactions. And he estimated that 80 or 90% of black food tribe had a quality of self-esteem that was only five to five to ten percent of his own population. Okay. And he just last lastly he saw the place and he started to call out the terms of self actualization. Yeah, he totally changed his mind because he started seeing the top of the hierarchy is not a dominance, it's actualizations. Okay. And the word of self actualization is not exists in Sixika language, but a close word in Nita Itapi, which is means someone who is completely developed or who has arrived. Well, this term is really sound like uh, uh, philosophy terms that we do have. Pretty close with Ubermensch from uh, Nietzsche. And uh, compl yeah, completely developed is the terms Ubermensch. Pretty close. Completely awake, find out. Who has arrived, you know? See some archetypes in the cross language and cultural. To most of the bike food members, wealth was not important in terms of accumulating property and possessions and actually giving it away was brought the one, the true status of prestige and security in the tribe. Right? At the same time, Maslow was shocked by the meanness and racism of the European Americans who live nearby. Well, now you start to realize that is the most challenging of the Maslow hierarchy. That is, it cannot work with a different culture because the majority of, of his population is white dominant in you know, college, well educated young men. And then now he pop up the, the highest term from a different group of society. Well, it's kind of different the way they do a sign back then. Uh, 
All right. So I have black food. Don't have a model of the worldview. Lie Maslow. But they can create the illusion we love. So this is the hierarchy that we see a Maslow on the left side. Go Western perspective. With the Blackfoot people, even they claim that they're not really one we compare to pyramid. But they do have some foundation in here. With the Blackfoot people, they start from the self-actualization. And then they move up to community actualization. And the last one, I believe, is cultural purity. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. They explain the self actualization. The self actualization is the top of Maslow pyramid. And, and uh, they compare Ryan the Heavy Head, I've got a scholar in this article, compare that in the Western cultural, you own a degree, you pay tuition, you're attending classes and at a mastery of your area of study to become some sort of self-actualization and delivery some kind of value. But actually in black food cultural, it's like you, you are already credential at the start. You treat with dignity for that reason. And you spend your life living on that. Why Maslow saw self actualization is something to earn. Like food see that it's innate, so you was born with that. That the human nature, the humanistic value. So born with that. We all respect other other human beings. You already self actualization when you was born in that type of society. Okay. All right, so this thing is something beyond what Maslow can see. The black food giveaway, and uh, they call it, the com they can illustrate it at the community actualization. Okay. Okay. Some kind of different tribe. They do talking about, they don't have the word of poverty. The closest thing that they have is explanation for poverty that's to be without family. The so poverty is not about the property, money, materials, but it's not have family. But that's not also the challenging when you see it, the, the different ideology, different worldviews shaping by different languages which is hard to transfer. And then a proof of this two totally different of a cultural. And that's why the Western uh, study, like what Maslow have, cannot apply for other culturals, cannot apply for a different time frame. And what he has, it is a set of concepts where I organize to make sense. And Ryan Heavy had also talking about the corporations and the relationship to place, which is Maslow entirely omit in his theory. He missed about indigenous, indigenous relationship to place. Without that, he is looking at that self actualization doesn't actually happen. Yeah. There's a re reason people aren't critical of their tribe, but you got to live with them forever. Yeah, so this thing is a bit conflict of individualism, yeah. Because the, the Western ideology, that's going to be self-actualization, you become a complete self, achieve a higher sense of self, in return to become a strong, independent individual, the highest form of individualism. But self-actualization of the black food culture, it's just the beginning. Everybody was born that way. But, the, but what if the thousand of people around you was born already a self-actualization type. Then you gotta move up in higher level, which is community actualization, which is a group of self-actualization individuals sharing idea and sharing 
the connection into the place they was born, which is some sort in the form of a collectivism we have in the Eastern world, but uh, the collectivism we have in Eastern worlds is uh, something a little bit unnatural. And that's why it's um, a little bit dehumanized the people to forcing to action, like a group action and collective action, then the way they think in a Blackfoot tribe, which is everybody would treat with dignity and respect as a value individual. And then they actively give up the sort of value to become a community high value individuals. Well, we can see like, for example, you in the prestigious rich country that everybody in there is rich. So they value already, of course, materialism cannot work with this value, but uh, we try to make some metaphor in here. That individual already rich, and they give up their money, which is not made them low down the status of rich people, but they still contribute with something bigger than the individual rich status. This is the whole nation rich status. And this is the community actualization. But what happened if that individual is not rich? He was born poor, uneducated, being slave, and being maltreated, cannot have enough thing to eat, cannot live their life freely as they want. And now they're being forced in a tribe, and they got to give up the limited resort for something bigger, but not really represent the value of the collective groups. So that is a little bit difference. This highest form of community actualization is come from the value individuals. And that value individual give up the value, uh, willing to do it, to forming something bigger and benefit for the whole is a community value. Different is a group of struggle and represent people with limited resort got to give up the limited resort, even their lives their freedom to the bigger things is may not represent for them. So that is a little bit, you have the same representative, in the, but in the core, it's different. All right, and let's see what the top tier of Blackfoot people looking for. So they're looking for something higher. That's called cultural perpetuity. So they're forming the cultural, basically. All right, so when they think about the actions, they want to get a term that is going to be impact for seven generations, which is mean that when we don't do something, they got to think about the consequence. It will follow up from generation to generation to generation that they don't even know. It's just but they know it out there because they strongly believe that the cultural and the community would live forever even without them. All right. Another critic about a Maslow who did not fully situate the individual within the context community. Yes, of course you not. That's why you can apply with a strong community based organization or cultural or society. All right, another critic of the self actualization theory. That is, socialization is not enough before salvation. Okay, so we cannot understand the term isolation. The good of other people must be invoked, as well as the good of oneself, solid altruism. It is quite clear that fully into psychic individualist psychology without reference to other people and social condition is not adequate. Well, basically, you cannot achieve this sense of actualization which just yourself you need others all right and they give another suggestion to remodel to be circle not triangles they claim that the physical need is not always primary 
sometimes people can seek for something higher even they not start with enough food enough thing to wear it's happened from the idea of dying for country the example of men man and woman find the time of war they recall the idea I keep talking the critic about a mash law that is cannot apply during the war time that people is willing to sacrifice their basic need of something bigger even bigger than self-actualization could be the center community actualization that is the dying country country is like a big forming of community all right circular model this is a new model I look like it have a cognitive sense have a physical sense which is the bottom right have a spiritual sense life purpose belonging and relationship emotional and cognitive this circle they go all together and depend on the situation the other we need to be missed subject to change we have a hierarchy idea because most of people cannot sacrifice satisfy the top is from 80 percent bottom 85 percent until 10 percent at the top that's why we all want to make it in the top well not really the empirical study then and struggle theory okay why haven't we heard about the black food worthy before honestly the first time i heard about this theory too even i know that maslow hierarchy is not really a good thing to follow up now look my maslow i don't want to review the black food warm view because be concerned about evaluating six cigar teaching may dismiss the validity of the idea he put it in well not really a good force thinking. Okay, you mentioned Galileo. All right, <laughs> about you finding a public city. Yeah, people are upset with pyramid making to the top, so they don't want to believe that we live like a circle and we have no top. We harmonize with each other. No, nobody believe it. They don't want to believe it. That's why the Maslow hierarchy is still alive until today. All right. United States, the greatest country in the world. Despite the fact that, uh, what fight with us? 2018, okay. One fourth US all whole experience food insecurity. Not sure about that, but pretty close. One four of 10, four in 10 Americans can afford for this dollar emergency. Well, I think the update, most updated information is 67% American cannot afford secondary dollar emergency. So I think it's worse. Which is, 0.1%, make 200 times more of 90%. So a huge gap. 40 million in poverty, not that much. But so we see in, in last year by the graph of the United Nation, that is the United States, they don't have extremely poor. Yeah, they have a little bit of poor, but not extremely. The 40 million might be not right, but they're pretty huge with the population of the United States. One of the most unequal nations in Western worlds, not sure about this too, but they do have the high inequality. All right. Do some writing at the top. Wealthy, less generous than underclass, not really an empirical study just opinion on in the magazine okay working up from american dream okay sound like opinion okay all right not too bad so, the idea is expand the horizon of thinking.
expand a worldview. Whatever you learn in school might be not right.